beer tubers. I'm going to be having another Coney Island Lager by Schmaltz Brewing Company. And uh, tonight I'm going to be having the Mermaid Pilsner. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Can you see that picture? If you can't, look it up because it's kind of hot. Um, if, if you missed my first review of this beer, uh, all of the labels, the characters on labels, are based on real live circus people that work at Coney Island at the circus there and they do have this mermaid lady so if you're around there uh -huh. <laughs> anyways um so yeah this is their mermaid pilsner um the interesting thing with this uh you have to get the variety pack that came out this year in 2011 in order to get this they don't have it released at least not yet uh so anyways this is a german style pilsner five percent and I'm really excited to try it because I like me a good Pilsner, so let me go ahead and open it up and show you how it is. Man, that's hot. If she wasn't hot enough, right? Yeah, so it's, it's a very clear golden yellow color. It, it is a proper color that you would see in a Pilsner. Fingers worth of frothy, uh, marshmallowy head. Uh, checking the aroma. Hmm. It doesn't smell like a traditional style Pilsner, as you would get from the Czech Republic or even in Germany as it is a German Pilsner but uh, I'm assuming that is a they use the sots and the, the, all the traditional ingredients for this I'm getting the grains like you would get in a lager uh, a bit of hops going on not so much in the aroma I, I don't smell too much in it but might as well dive in right come by this one, you do have some sweetness going on, as you wouldn't expect in a traditional style Pilsner. Bright flavors, some lemon, uh, a, a nice malt, malty backbone, considering, you know, as to the extent of a Pilsner. It has a dry hop finish. Um, you don't get as much dryness as you would get in a Pilsner. You don't have that lager, grainy, that German even check kind of kind of kind of graininess in it it's definitely an american style kind of uh, i would compare it to somewhat similar to victor brings uh, prima pills which is an excellent one uh, it is also a bit on the multi side yeah it's, it's it's nice it's nice it, it took me a while to get used to because i'm so used to the traditional style pilsner it does have that hoppy dry finish to it while having the bright lemony taste uh, in a pill that you would get in a Pilsner um, but it doesn't have any kind of overwhelming qualities um, but I must say that it is really nicely balanced that, that is, uh, it has a nice clean finish it doesn't leave any after residue in the taste buds rating wise I would give this a B uh, it is it is a solidly made beer I appreciate the balance of it it's nice uh, but it doesn't quite match up to some of the traditional well up there pilsners like like you would get in the Czech Republic you know like Pilsner Kell and some of the ones that you even get in Germany too but you know it's the American take on it therefore there's some sweetness in it because Americans there they have a sweet tooth <laughs> they also like hoppy bitterness too so that's why our barley wines are crazy uh, but anyways um, yeah this is this is an excellent Pilsner I, I do enjoy it I would I would I would definitely match it up as uh, easily with the victory victory brewings uh, uh, Prima Pils I, I like it, except, you know, like, I have my druthers, and it happens to be Schmaltz Brewing Company, <laughs> but I enjoy both as well. Um, anyways, that was the Mermaid Pilsner. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Coney Island Lager Review. Bye-bye.